Hi everybody, uh, Tom here. It's been a while since I've uploaded anything. And uh, hello to the Cadre community as well, because I do believe this is going to go up on Cadre's website. Uh, and today I want to talk about Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Uh, as you know, I'm normally the one blabbering on about Call of Duty 4, but today I'm going to uh, change seats, as they say, and talk about a different game entirely. A game that the FPS community are sort of uh, dubious about. They're not sure whether it's going to be good, whether it's going to be bad, but it is the new Counter-Strike uh, coming out. Uh, well, it's actually currently in beta, but it'll be coming out very uh, soon, and uh, it is the third in the series. First of all, apologies for the loud noises that may be in my mic. Uh, in the student house, obviously, shit loads of music and stuff like that. And uh, um, apologies for the really laggy gameplay video. It's not my fault. I've tried everything. Uh, the demo UI thingy in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, as it's already in beta, uh, you can assume that uh, it's quite buggy and stuff like that and I don't think they've really addressed that problem yet which is understandable demos is the last thing people care about um, so this is just currently a gameplay that I'm showing you from the uh, CSGO mixes channel this is uh, something that I'll be describing in later and uh, if you do have a, a beta key it's something you can get involved with if you just check the description below or, or for those who are watching this on Cadred um, just check the words above the video I don't know check the article but um, yeah so I really want to talk about Counter-Strike Global Offensive but I wanted to talk it talk about it in a, in a, in a Call of Duty players perspective um, a, a lot of my following on my channel are actually Call of Duty players who aren't really familiar with Counter-Strike at all they're, they're, then they're not really bothered about it either but I think uh, CSGO is something that uh, people should really take into consideration um, as we've seen in MOBA games and, and RTS games, uh, monopolies have been made, really. League of Legends and Dota 2 have taken control of the casual and competitive side of MOBA games, uh, and StarCraft 2 has taken control of pretty much everything uh, in the Western world with regards to RTS games, um, as well as the Korean. Um, so yeah, I, I really hoped for something like this to happen for us uh, FPS players. Uh, we currently have thousands of FPS games that are played sort of semi-competitively and within Counter-Strike themselves there is already a divide. So uh, it, it's something that really hinders the progression in esports but what can you do? Hopefully this game will be it and I'm going to try and uh, outreach to the Call of Duty 4 community just how great I think this game is. Uh, sorry for the the guy spamming the nuke door. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's showing the destructible parts of Counter-Strike Geo. Anyway, um, to the Call of Duty community, I want us to really consider Counter-Strike Global Offensive as um, something that could be the next best thing. Uh, I've been, I was lucky enough to get myself a beta key, and I've been playing it quite a lot, quite a lot of mix as well, uh, not a lot of public play, uh, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, first of all, for those who, who follow me on my YouTube, uh, I'm going to have to sort of uh, dumb it down a bit. Um, Counter-Strike is uh, similar to Call of Duty in uh, the sense that it's an esports orientated title and um, uh, in the same way as Call of Duty, it works in a 5 on 5 manner. Uh, it's search and destroy. Obviously there's a, a defensive team, an attacking team. Uh, one team has to plant the bomb, one team has to defuse the bomb. There are various guns of different skill etc etc. The only thing that really sets us apart from Counter-Strike is a uh, or sets Counter-Strike apart from Call of Duty is the fact that there's a money system in which the economy sort of has to be balanced with better guns generally costing more money and uh, when your economy's low you're sort of forced to use lesser weapons or, or lack of armor, lack of grenades and stuff like that. So it's a very much a more complex system added to the original search and destroy ideology of any player can choose any gun, you've just got to worry about defending and defusing a bomb. Um, but yeah, uh, it's very enjoyable, very easy to get into. Uh, once you sort of learn the buy keys and stuff like that, it's it's not hard at all. And it does add that extra skill. It, it, it makes it harder for teams to come back. I mean, in Call of Duty, we can see teams going down eight rounds in a row and still win the match because you're, at, you're under no uh, disadvantage. In Counter-Strike, you lose eight rounds in a row, or if you lose a certain amount of rounds in a row, you, you lose a lot of your money and you're forced to do rounds with really shitty weapons and stuff like that so obviously there are differences in that sense and it's just I believe a more skilled 
and more skilled playing experience. Uh, another thing to mention, there's no iron sight in Counter-Strike. Uh, Call of Duty obviously has the benefit of looking down the sight to closer your view to make your aim more accurate. In Counter-Strike, on the other hand, as you probably see, the crosshair is already very small and, and it's very much aim orientated from the hip. Um, headshots do count as opposed to Call of Duty where they don't. And um, obviously there's recoil patterns and stuff like that uh, as opposed to Call of Duty which, is, which runs on a random recoil pattern. Uh, in addition, the game runs on a different engine completely, so stuff like movement obviously feels a lot different, and really engines in games dictate how the games work and feel and whether or not they play nice. Um, so yeah, it, it is a different game, but in the same sense, it's still an FPS, and, and you can still enjoy it with your mouse and keyboard. Um, so I really wanted to talk to the, the Call of Duty players who have managed to luckily get themselves a Counter-Strike Global Offensive key, and uh, I want to talk because a lot of them have been slagging it off, saying, ah, it's a bad game, blah, blah, blah. I, it's still in beta. Uh, I enjoy it quite a lot. Uh, and I enjoy it mostly because of this uh, CSGO Mixes uh, mumble that a guy called Mixer.ra, I believe, has, has thankfully set up. And um, obviously there's no dedicated servers at the moment, so it's simply guys with good uh, uploads hosting a servers for us to play 5v5s on with... Uh, competitive settings and it's really enjoyable everyone takes it pretty semi-seriously at some points and it's and it's good fun um, especially if you want to get into this game early so it's just really this vlog slash interview thingy uh, I slapped it on actually some gameplay on D Nuke, which is one of the competitive Counter-Strike maps um, just to show you guys what CSGO is like in a non-pub environment running around on Italy and stuff like that. It can be pretty tedious and boring. Um, so yeah, check out the description below uh, if you want to get involved in these mixes. Uh, they're very enjoyable and um, hopefully this bedroom cam thingy won't be a, a regular thing because I think it looks ridiculous. But I had it in my room anyway from University Works. So I thought, why not? I'll, I'll slap it on. Even though I look beardy and shit like that but uh, yeah i haven't really done a vlog in a while uh i haven't been really been playing call of duty in a, in a long time i know we had a little stint with um golden oldies but through various differences not differences even uh black main decided he would also wanted to focus on playing this new counter-strike game um i'm not sure what duffer and danny are doing but i also got myself a key and I, I can see why Blackman wanted to do that. It's very enjoyable. Uh, it's really something to look forward to, I believe, as um, they are constantly updating the game. And uh, as you can see, uh, it, it's pretty clean from, from my point of view. Uh, this is actually, apart from the resolution, the settings I'm currently using whilst I play. And uh, I don't know, I think, I think it looks very nice. But uh, yeah, uh, stick around. Check the description below if, if you guys want to get involved in these CSGO mixes. Um, people are always more than welcome to come it is first come first serve because there are only limited amount of servers but hopefully uh, you guys um, will tag along and hopefully there's a bright future for CSGO and I'm even more hopeful that the COD 4 community as well as even the 2 if you're watching um, take this game a little bit more seriously than say the 1.6 community do as I do believe it will have a bright future so uh, goodbye for now and I uh, hope you enjoyed this gameplay video. Bye bye.